Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Dame, and welcome back to one of Game Dame Reacts, where we have Unreal Engine highlights from the tech demo from Unreal Fest. And I missed it, so I'm glad that they have the videos. So let's go ahead and watch the Unreal Engine 5.5 Megalites tech demo. Ooh, would you? Ooh, God, loud as shit. Would you all include this time? Thank you, Simon. Hey, Victor. Hey, everyone. Let's jump right into it. Hey, everyone. When we look at where to take Unreal Engine in the future, we start with the user. Asking ourselves... I mean, as you should, as someone who works in way, UX UI, that is how you should be. One challenging limitation for our creators has been the cost of shadow casting lights. To that end, we've developed new technology that enables artists to use orders of magnitude more and higher quality light sources than ever before. Let's take an early look at this I mean, new feature we're calling what I would hope Megalites. you have in and every single instance experience or update. Our intrepid explorer from Lumen in the Land of Nanite, Echo. Let's see what's up ahead, Victor. This is this is their game that they use every time to show off. Before we get into the details of Megalites, I first wanted to talk about this environment. Built using a suite of brand new assets from the Quixel Megascans library. We've also partnered with Kitbash They 3D. look cool as hell. They're an awesome resource for 3D models and materials. You can soon find many of these assets on our new Fab Asset Marketplace if you want to use them in your own projects. They, some of them look so realistic. Like, some of them look like an actual photo. Until you show me Moving her. On, let's talk Megalites. Megalites. Unreal is at its best when users can express themselves without technical constraint. Like Nanite did for triangles or Lumen for a global illumination. Oh, I was about to say, something's Megalite happening over there. Megalite limitation in a whole new category. Direct lighting and shadows. Take, for example, these textured area lights. Considered the gold standard of offline rendering. Here they are, in real time, spilling vibrant color into the scene, casting soft shadows and illuminating the environment in a way artists simply couldn't have done before. What? I love how they're and showing the him holding the, the controller. It is huge, but that's not the only way Megalites makes things better. Let's see what's next. So it looks like Echo oh, what a cute little guy! Marketplace here. We love cute little today. guys. Let's turn on some of these shop fronts and see what's for sale. There's something missing, though. The scene it's flat, it's undefined. Let's turn on shadows, but not just for a few important lights. For every single light in the entire view. Damn, every single light. Oh, I, it did make a difference. It sh definitely gave it more depth. Even the smallest of details are really important in my opinion. From these main shop fronts to the screens, the displays, the flickering oil lamps, string lights, candles, signs. We're free to use whatever lights we need to tell our story and bring this beautiful environment to life. I love the mix now, of the, the old and the new lighting. I actually think it looks really high. cool. And this is what you get when artists are working playfully. Oh, God. Limitation. OK, let's go back to the scene. That quality is not Victor, good. Go I mean, first. it's just let's that activate all, all those lines. These animated drones and robots. Over 1,000 individual shadow casting light sources in this view alone. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. All of these lights. They are like little fireflies. Dynamic, scattering through the volumetric fog, and Megalites handles this impressive scene without missing a beat. As we continue on, it's worth mentioning that removing these limitations around light count and shadows, it doesn't just apply to point and spotlights, but to area lights as well. Megalites enables artists to use area lights as freely as they would any other light source.
Now, whether you're using textured area lights, light functions, oh, that's crisp cool. shadows, or love I feel like it could be shadows, a little bit more crisp. You can have huge numbers of lights. Event but I mean, in whatever configuration works best for your scene. I don't know. Now, as we send Echo off on her next adventure, we should mention performance. But it still looks cool. What you've seen here is running live on a PlayStation 5. Megalites is included. Have it run on PC. Q5 Come on, 5. man. But hey, it looks it looks it's an good feature on the PS5. And you can also check it out on the expo floor if you want a closer look at all the pretty pixels. Oh, that's cool lighting. I really like that. Thank you very much. Oh, Back you're so Simon. welcome. That was a really cool display of all the different types of lighting that they had. Um, the type of shadows, the type of details that they include in there, I think are all very important for the atmospheric portion of the game, as well as what the guy was saying earlier is like, we don't want our items to look flat. I still think there could be some improvements, uh, but I, I feel like it's very minuscule uh, now, and I know they're constantly working on it because Unreal Engine is constantly updating. We're probably going to get what I would be looking for in the next update, uh, but for right now, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We're definitely getting up there, but I mean, uh, I would like to see it on PC next time, but it is nice to see it on console because console is a more easily accessible uh, way to game for most people out there. I'd have to look at the stats again. I feel like last time I looked at them, there were more consoles than PCs out there. But hey, I am impressed with Unreal Engine 5.5 and I'm going to continue to be impressed. I would just like to see more. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at. But you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.